guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. So in honor of it being Nas International Coffee Day, sorry, autofocus, there we go, I thought I would share with you guys a very different type of video. I thought I would share with you guys my coffee mug collection. I am really into coffee mugs. I have a ton of them, but I have too many. So I'm also going to declutter in this process, and I just thought I've showed you guys a lot of decluttering in my life recently, and that I would just continue that trend. So here's the first mug. This is new. I've talked about this in several videos here, re or at least a video here recently. Um, I bought this at Target yesterday. It's this little squirrel, and it says bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And I thought it looked very fall, even though it's a spring mug and it was on clearance for $3. I thought it worked for fall, and I didn't have a fall mug. So I bought it. And I've got hardly any coffee left. But anyway, that's the first one. So now let's get into my cabinet. So as you can see, my I'm going to come this way, my coffee mugs are rather precariously balanced in here. I've got quite a few and it's just an absolute mess. So we are going to go through these and declutter them. Sorry guys, I'm adjusting my tripod. So if there's any of these that I can still find online, I will link them down below. So my first ones is are these, I have two of these. It's this um, red, it has a red inside and it's black and white floral on the outside. I have two of these, and I actually have a, co uh, a teapot that matches them, but I think these are absolutely beautiful, and they came from my husband's grandmother who passed away earlier this year, so these are very, very special to me, so I'm not getting rid of them. Next one is my utterly adorable narwhal mug. This was fairly recent, a purchase from Think Geek, and I think it's super cute. So it is a bit awkward shaped, but it's also really big, which is nice. Doing that. Um, next one, this one's also a favorite, also from Think Geek, but I don't think you can get it anymore, is this super awesome T-Rex mug. My cousins actually got this for me for Christmas last year, and I absolutely love it, so obviously totally keeping that. Next one is this uh, Luke's Diner one that I got from my in-laws for Christmas, um, and it's super fun, it's nice and big, keeping that. I'm not very good at getting rid of them, am I? Whoop. Okay, so my next one, this is another one of my favorites, and this one says, Kiss Me, I'm Caffeinated, and I use this one a lot. This is my, like, Valentine's Day springtime mug, but let's be real, I use it all the time, so keeping that one, too. Okay, this one, this is, this is great. This is my Princess Leia mug, and I love the two handles for the buns, and no way am I getting rid of this. So next I have this really pretty one that says hello in this gorgeous script font with these gold foiled roses. Super pretty, keeping this one. This one I can't get rid of because it's my husband's. So it's got this battery on it and when it gets warm the battery turns green and then obviously as the level goes down the battery turns black again. So this one is actually part of a set and they're super cute. It's got these little, it's like these little like beach hut things. And there's one of the other one has like a purple background instead of blue, but it's currently sitting on my windowsill because it has my mint plant in it. But keeping that, my these were actually my mom's, and I fell in love with them, and so she actually gave them to me for Christmas that year because I loved them that much, and I just thought that was super sweet. Okay, I am not doing so good, am I? Next one I have I have is this really cute one with all these little girls on it. It I actually got this at Dollar Tree. It's blue on the inside. But, as much as I love it, I actually looked for this mug. I think I'm going to get rid of it because it's very, very small, and it doesn't hold enough to suit me. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Hey, that's one. Woohoo! All right, so next I have this one with an A on it. Um, I got this at Michael's. This was to replace my absolutely favorite mug that I got from Anthropology when it broke because um, it was a similar shape, but it's just not quite the same, so I'm going to get rid of it too. Okay, this one I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get rid of. I actually have a whole set of these, and I just think they're very pretty and elegant looking. Um, I don't have many of them here right now out, so I might put this one up in my storage cabinet rather than having it in my mug cabinet. But I do think those are really cool, and I don't want to get rid of them. Okay, so I got rid of two mugs. Woo, yay. Um, so now we're going to put all of these back. Oh, where's my wifey mug? I also have my wifey mug from Target. Is it in my dishwasher? It might be. Hang on just one second, guys. My dishwasher is back here. Um, yes, it is. Okay. It's dripping wet, but that's okay. So then I have this one from Target that says wifey. I use this one all the time. Obviously, I just pulled it out of my dishwasher, so I use it. So I'm going to keep it. We are not doing so hot. 
Um, so these are my travel mugs. Oh, I have one more mug back up here. So this is my Christmas mug. I bought this last year. I bought it at Target, naturally. It says, let it snow, and it's got this gold foiling on it. And I think it's super cute, and so I'm keeping that one too. Okay. But I got rid of two. It's really not enough, is it? I love coffee mugs. Can you tell? Okay. Sorry, my ice maker's making ice. So then I have these travel mugs. I actually have four of these. They're the Contigo brand. Um, these are pretty worn out because I've had them for a while. I mean, they're beat up looking. They're still obviously fully functional. Um, focus, camera, focus on this. There we go. Um, so they, uh, what's great about these is they are like a sippy cup for your coffee, which for me is an absolute requirement. So they lock shut. You have to push a button to drink out of it, and then you can actually unlock, you lock and unlock the button to open the, the mouthpiece. So these, this one looks like super crusty and gross, but anyway, these are awesome, so I'm keeping all of those. Okay, this I think I'm going to get rid of. Um, it's this little, like, cute faux mason jar. It's plastic, but it doesn't fit in my cup holder in my car, and I don't use it that often since I got my uh, Outdoor Adventures Yeti cup, so I think I'm going to get rid of this too. All right. My husband's, so I can't get rid of that. Ew, that's disgusting. It's got stuff all over the outside of it. That's gross. Okay, so we've got two, three more cups up here. So I am going to get rid of this one. This is this little citrus tumbler. It came from Dollar Tree quite a while ago, and I loved it at the time. And I looked and looked and looked for it, but it's small, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'll, once I find its lid, I'll put the lid in the straw with it. So I have these two, um, travel tumblers and um, this one has a, a C on it because my last name starts with a C and then um, I have this really pretty um, green foiled one that I got in clearance at Gordman's for literally 50 cents and I use it all the time. I don't use this one as much but I like having both of them but I think I should only keep one so I'm tr I've got to decide which one. I think I'm going to keep this one and not this one but I've got to decide. So. Let's see, then I've got this little basket up here with the lids. So, um, there's the lid for this, that little citrus tumbler. So I got these things at Dollar Tree. They're really cool. They like sit on top of your mug and they make um, a seal. Whoops, that one didn't work, did it? Um, so that way you don't spill your coffee. These things are awesome, but I don't really use them all the time. I don't really use them anymore and I don't know why. Maybe it's honestly, I think I know part of the reason why, is because um, in our apartment at school, my husband and I live, uh, it was a two-story apartment, and I went upstairs a lot with my coffee, and we live in ooh, a single-story apartment now, so I don't use these as much. But I'm going to keep these because I think they're great things to have. Okay, so I didn't really get rid of as many as I was hoping to, but um, I just, we do have a really small cabinet that is part of the issue, and I think once we get a house, it won't be quite as big of an issue that I have as many coffee mugs as I do. Um, and this little shelf, by the way, came from Dollar Tree, in case you guys are wondering. I've had it quite a while, and it works really well. Um, anyway, but I think that they're a little less precariously balanced now, um, so I'm going to put that white one in uh, my cabinets above my refrigerator so that way I can um, keep it with the scent and then I'm going to get rid of the ones that I talked about and I think I'm going to get rid of the cup with the seat on it, the tumbler, rather than the one that has the, the teal on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!